subject name compiler design for third year csbs students fifth semester unit 3 this is a topic attribute grammar attribute grammar is a special form of context free grammar and then some additional attribute informations are added to one or more of its non terminal in order to provide context sensitive grammar and then which is help to specify the syntax and semantics of the programming language so this grammar equation gives a example of attribute grammar e which implies e plus t that is e dot value which is equal to e dot value plus t dot value that is the combination of e dot value plus t dot value are added and it will be stored on e dot value the values of non terminals e and t are added together and the result is copied to the non terminal e there are two types of attribute grammar first is a synthesized attributes second is a inherited attributes synthesis attributes can get values from the attribute values of the child nodes it will never take values from their parent nodes or any sibling nodes for example yes implies a b c means yes will take the values of the child nodes a b c it will not affect siblings or any other nodes in the inherited attributes can take values from parent and or siblings for example yes implies a b c here this a can take values from s yes, b and c also suppose if you are taking b this b can take values s yes, a and c so it will allow to take parent and sibling values also here evaluation and flow of attributes in the syntax tree we are going to see so we need to know what is parse tree parse tree is a hierarchical representation of terminals or non terminals so this tree is called parse tree because internal nodes are non terminals and leaf nodes are terminals so this is a syntax trees so syntax trees are abstract or compact representation of parse trees so we can also called a abstract syntax tree so this is a parse tree given and then nearby syntax tree is also given syntax tree having operator or the internal node and operands are external node few difference are given from parse tree and syntax tree so parse tree is a graphical representation of the replacement process in a derivation but in the syntax tree is a compact form of the parse tree in the parse tree each interior node represents a grammar rule each leaf node represents a terminal whereas in the syntax tree each interior node represents a operator and leaf node will gives you the operand in the parse tree every characteristics information from the real syntax in the syntax tree it it will not provide every characteristics information from the real syntax parse tree has a less a less dense than syntax trees whereas in the syntax tree more dense than parse trees so this is a example for doing the parse tree syntax tree and directed acyclic graph so the grammar is given e implies e plus t r t t implies t 
asterisk F R F and then F implies E within the parenthesis R I D. So these three equation by using these three equation we need to generate the string I D plus I D asterisk I D. So we need to show these three types. So by using these equations E which implies E plus T. So this is the first one. It is start symbol E. Start symbol E gives you the grammar E plus T. So which is E plus T. And then so E having one more non-terminal T. So we can represent T for E. And then one more T is also possible. T, what is the uh, T is there? T implies T asterisk F. So we can draw it on the right hand side. So below the T, we can draw T asterisk F. So we know that T is uh, having two values, T asterisk F and one more value is F. So instead of T, we can write F. So here we represent F and one more T we represent F. So and then so we can see F implies parenthesis E or ID. So we need to bring into the format ID plus ID into ID. So we can take this ID for F and then we can replace the value in the past tree. So F gives id and then one more f this f is also gives id and then finally one more f is there so here also we can represent id so now we form the given format we we concluded this one we found this one so id plus id multiplied with id so now we formed in this format so in the syntax tree, so we need to take id plus id asterisk id only because it's a syntax tree. It's a simplest form of parse tree. So id plus id multiplied with id. So we can represent this in the small format, simple format. So this is a directed acyclic graph. So here also we are taking id plus id multiplied with id. So plus symbol is given. So plus symbol for id plus id and then so and then uh, id multiplied with id. So id this id is multiplied with id two times. So id multiplied with id. So this is a directed acyclic graph or DAG is given in the grammar. Thank you.